everyone. This is Caitlin. And this is Lacey. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Today we have a special guest with us, Andrea Gibbon um, with NATDA. Andrea, let us know a little bit about yourself. Hey, ladies. Thank you for having me on. Um, I am the Executive Director of NATDA. I have been with NATDA since uh, September 2019, where I was hired on as a Director of Operations um, and Events because I come from a trade show background. I've been in trade shows for about 22 years now. Um, And then back um, in October of 22, uh, actually, sorry, October 21, (laughs) I was promoted to executive director. Um, And I'm absolutely loving leading this association and being here with you ladies. Nice, nice. And um, we have here that you have a designation of CEM. Tell us a little bit about what a CEM is and what it does and what it took to get there. Sure. Um, So CEM is Certification in Exhibition Management. Um, I have held that designation since 2011 uh, through IAE, which is the International Association of Events and Exhibitions. So it's awarded to trade show professionals. Um, You have to have so many years of experience um, running trade shows and events. And then you have to go through about three years of courses and exams to obtain that certification. And you have to hold it yearly, or is it like once you obtain it, you you pretty much are qualified for it? You do have to renew it every three years. So you have to earn a certain amount of credits and attend so many classes between um, those three years in order to keep it active. Nice. So you are the professional. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's in my blood. It's in my blood. I've been in six <laughs> ever um and I absolutely love it it's like when you ask somebody like what is your dream job I feel like you have obtained your dream job like you're winning a hundred percent um yeah and then just being able to lead the association um along with all of the trade show um you know because the trade show is the biggest thing we do um I absolutely love it every minute of it Awesome. And this is a completely rabbit trail, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, your certification got me thinking it would be interesting to, like, have certifications in the trailer industry, similar to, like, auto techs and things like that. Um, But I was trying to wrap my head around what would that be? You know, what could be the extra learning and the the credit courses and things like that? Um, Here at work, we are implementing kind of like a learning portal um, so we're actually yeah. trying to implement where, you know, people could get extra learning credits and things like that. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to tell you that was the inspiration for that. I was like, what is a CEM? I've Googled it, so don't worry. That's awesome. No, I love it. And we've actually been discussing that internally to, um, ways to add accreditation to the education that we offer through NATBA. Nice. So we should have a bigger conversation yeah. about that. Same brainwave, <laughs> always, always. And with that being said, that's how Women in the Trailer Industry came about and Women in the Trailer Industry Committee. Um, and you oversee mm-hmm. special programs with NATDA. So tell us a little bit about Women in the Trailer Industry Committee. Sure. Um, so it's something I've been wanting to start um, for a couple years now. And luckily, we were able to actually launch it this year um, with you guys, which I love. (laughs) And basically, you know, women supporting women in any industry is so incredibly important. Um, I think that there is so much out there um, for women to learn from each other, networking, mentorship, um, being able to balance work life. You know, especially um, women that have children at home, or for me, I have furry kids at home (laughs) and still pet their their kids, right? Yes. but being able to support each other, but I think coming over to the trailer industry was really eye-opening to me about how male-dominated it is, right? It's a very male-dominated industry, and seeing the number of females that are up and coming in this industry, I think supporting females within a male-dominated industry becomes even more important. Um, I was having conversations you know, with potential candidates for the committee, and one of them basically said to me, you know, she's like, I've owned this dealership for years. And the guys still come in and say, hey, who's the guy in charge? And she's Mm -hmm. like, I'm the guy in charge. And they still are like, where's the man? And, um, you know, it kind of just opened my eyes to how do we support the females that are up and coming in this industry without them, you know, kind of running away because of that. So I think this committee is so important for that. And, you know, are we... At our last meeting, we discussed our mission, 
and the mm-hmm. mission for the industry is building strong women leaders through membership. Membership. <laughs> Got to be a member. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Building strong women leaders through mentorship, collaboration, and community, all while navigating the work-life balance. Um, yeah. So of that, what what do you think that the women in the trailer industry committee has set out to achieve this year? I mean, I think um, some of the responses I've had from some of the committee members um, after our first meeting and after kind of the launch has been so positive that other members and other females have reached out to them already for that mentorship. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is just key. It's building this network, letting other females know that we're here for them. We Mm want to support them, have them come to the event at the show. Um, I think that if we achieve anything this year, it's being able to start this network of support. Um, I do obviously want to grow it and be able to offer more education and more regional, um, you know, events and networking. But I think for year one, being able to lay the groundwork for this support system is so incredibly important. It is. Yeah. And just getting in front of everybody and let them know, Hey, this is a resource we have now. Um, and we Mm -hmm. are just starting, but we are, you know, many years to come going to be building on this and growing this. Um, I thought it was really cool to see how much excitement was around just the idea of it. And then the committee members that were on the committee um, that you, that were chosen to be a part of the committee. I know we're really excited, but tell us a little bit about how um, you went about choosing your committee members um, for the, for the group. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I was floored by the response, the amount of um, females that came forward that wanted to be yes. a part of the committee. It's just, it was, So eye-opening, but just heartwarming to know that there were so many females that see this need and want to be part of it. Um, What we tried to do, um, everyone was qualified to be on the committee. It was just, one, we wanted to kind of limit the number of participants um, because, you know, when you try to have a conversation with too many people, it kind of can go in a lot of different directions. But two, really looking at different segments of the industry. Um, You know, our association supports all facets vendors, manufacturers, the dealers. Um, And so we wanted to have representation from all three segments of the industry um, so that everyone could speak to their own experience. And then also we have a variety of females in different positions within those different segments. Um, So they all kind of lend a little bit of different experience and expertise um, in all different segments, which I think was really important. And then um, second to that was kind of geography trying to figure out if we could get some regional stuff going and being able to have key people in different areas of the of the country yeah for sure yes I know um after that first meeting and even um when NATDA released their magazine I had several people reaching out to me like saw the women in the trailer industry um in the magazine and I mean, there's some powerful women in this industry for sure. I know yes. one of them, and I need to bring her name next time, but she owns this entire food truck operation, um, and it uses trailer um, components and things like that. But mm-hmm. it was just very interesting, like, the magnitude of um, operation that she owns and manages um, and, and just looking at her LinkedIn and just seeing all the things she's accomplished, it was pretty inspiring. So I think we have a coffee e-date, um, sooner rather than later. So I definitely think Mm -hmm. that's what, um, women in the trailer industry was created for, you know, Mm -hmm. to really connect with those people. Um, and really, you know, even if they've scaled to a high caliber or a high position, they still need resources. They still need help with things. Um, you don't know it all once you get to that position yeah. for sure. You're actually probably asking more questions at that point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, right. So <laughs> it definitely just brings a place for us to be able to get those resources and ask those questions from people with different experiences. Yeah, and I think it was just along those lines too, we we have seen – people reach out and to us about, and even if they're not in the trailer industry, right? So we're, we're not just creating this great group of resource and um, support for each other within the trailer industry. Women are seeing that in all industries and they're kind of reaching out and, and jumping on board with it just because we all need support, right? Mm -hmm. You know, definitely part of NATDA's benefit program. I didn't think about that until just as we were talking about it, but some of the vendors um, that y'all have that are partners with y'all 
um, could mm-hmm. actually be pretty helpful resources for some people. Absolutely. So, I mean, we talked about a little bit about the LinkedIn, but we did create a LinkedIn page. Um, so, Caitlin, tell us a little about about what that. that LinkedIn page yes. is. So, um, it was created for everyone to have a networking space. Um, for one, because right now, or before the LinkedIn page, everything was happening in messages and it was like really no source of connection. Everyone was just kind of individually chatting and then that can become cumbersome as well. Um, especially if it's like one person and no one else knows what's going on. So, um, really the women in the trailer industry LinkedIn group was created so that one, we can have a place for information, um, share information, trends, things that are happening in the industry, things that are happening in the workplace industry, Mm -hmm. Um, and then also a place for that networking and connection, getting to know each other, getting to know people's experiences, um, which I'm going to try to ask everybody, you know, to write kind of like a small memoir paragraph, like what have they experienced and what have they learned from that? Um, Because I know a lot of people learn from Mm -hmm. what you've learned, Mm -hmm. right? So... Um, definitely yeah. getting to share that. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it looks like we are, we already have a uh, hundred members so far, um, nice. and growing. Nice. So yeah. And then that'll just be the catalyst for, um, the coffee dates and the virtual meetups and, you yeah. know, creating events in there so that everyone can have access, um, to what's going on and to really be connected and get, take advantage of those resources. Yeah. Speaking of resources, um, Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about, um, the networking event that we have at the show this year? Yes. I'm very excited for it. Um, we have a new format this year, so we're starting education a little earlier than normal. So Tuesday afternoon, uh, which is August 29th from three to five, we are going to have the women in business round table and networking event. Um, so wine and cheese. Wine and cheese will be provided. Um, courtesy of <laughs> Trailer Press Outlet and ATW are sponsors for the event. But it'll be two hours right now. We're kind of collecting topics. Um, you know, we're talking to the committee about what hot topics we should be discussing, but we'll also reach out to, you know, our membership as well of anything they want to bring up. Um, it will be moderated by Caitlin herself. <laughs> and um, the committee will be there. And hopefully, I think right now we're. Uh, almost 100 tickets reserved oh, for wow. it. Um, we are asking for ticket reservations. So as you're registering for your badge for the show, make sure to, to sign up. Um, we do have a couple of men in the session as well. So hey, kudos cool. to them for yeah. bringing yeah. David up to sign up. Yeah. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really great just kind of, it, I mean, it'll be a networking event, but it will be a brainstorming, collaboration, hot topic kind of discussion um, for the two hours. Yeah, it'll definitely be a little scary, but I'm super excited yeah. about it. Um, <laughs> you know, once we get into it and start bringing up the first topics, I think it really will start to flow. Yes. Um, I think we'll have a committee member at some of the tables and in the in kind of like the cohort mm-hmm. groups, um, really trying to help members explore. Um, and I really think that's interesting, too, kind of like that cohort group. You know, who who's kind of in the same vertical they are because you know things that we experience as distributors or retailers is way different than a manufacturer experience so someone who's manufacturing would do no good talking to me except my yeah. million <laughs> trial and error times. so I definitely think maybe aligning those two um which is something to explore you know who's going to best help them um and I definitely think the LinkedIn group would help with that yeah I think once we all get in there and kind of like that initial like silence in the room kind of everybody's just like just happy to be there but not really sure what it's about once the floodgates get opened (laughs) everybody has a lot to say so I think it's going to be really good it's going to flow really well yep so that just leads us to playing a game like you know and have little signs (laughs) (laughs) who are you right they just need to answer the first question once that first answer is out there it'll all so yeah. organically we could, we could just start the whole thing with everybody take a sip of your wine have a toast and then everybody will want to talk yeah that's a good idea <laughs> such a rabbit hole okay. <laughs> need to write all these, well i'll just rewatch the podcast and then we'll have all these brainchilds come back to us <laughs> 
All right. So next, since we're talking about the NATDA show, what can you tell us about it and what can we expect this year? Yeah, we are really excited for this new um, this new format. So as we said, you know, we're going to start um, a lot of our panel discussions and roundtables will happen now Tuesday afternoon. Uh, technician training will happen Tuesday afternoon. Tickets are required for that as well. Um, if that'll all lead into the dealer welcome happy hour Tuesday evening. And then Wednesday morning, we'll continue education. Um, that'll be all of kind of our business sessions, all of our seminars, um, as well as technician training. And then that leads into the dealer midday break. So a light lunch will be served right outside the lobby um, of the exhibit hall for from 12 to 1, with the show opening at 1 o'clock on Wednesday, which is a new schedule for us. Um, we're excited to see how it goes. So Wednesday afternoon, the show will be open. And then uh, all day Thursday, again, 9 to 5. And then that will lead into the Dexter Post Show Dealer Reception uh, Thursday evening. And then everyone can go home on Friday. So this year we have no show on Friday. So yeah. I just want everyone to be clear of the new schedule. Because <laughs> I know everyone's looking at the dorms right yeah. now. <laughs> that works too. You know, it was always... Um, well, this new schedule will be interesting for sure, but I, I swear flights were always the most difficult and we're flying into Houston. So you'd think mm -hmm. it'd be easy, but it was like either late as all get out or early as all get out. And so you couldn't like close down and leave on the same day, but then you couldn't mm -hmm. like, there would be no point cause you'd get home at like 3 AM, you know? So, um, <laughs> <laughs> definitely gives you an extra day because yeah. we'd always end up coming home on Saturday. You miss the weekend. You miss all the festivities going on because mm -hmm. you're tired, right? Because <laughs> um, yeah. you finally got home. So super excited for that schedule. Um, I think it's going to be good this year. I, you're, the new flow and the new structure is going to be, um, especially like the educational stuff that's starting. And you, there's so much that you guys are offering um, every year, really. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this year it just seems like you have it 100% full of, like, nothing but educational stuff, um, which is wonderful um, for everybody to take advantage mm -hmm. of. Um, so there's going to be a trailer parts lounge. And what's going to be um, part of that this year? That's new, right? Yeah. So this year we're actually splitting the big lounge that we used to have in the center of the show. We're splitting it in half. Um, so there's the Trailer Park Expo Lounge. So for um, exhibitors, before the show opens, while the dealers are out in the lobby having lunch, we're doing um, light snacks in the Trailer Park Expo Lounge. Um, so that is the exhibitor networking event for a chance for manufacturers and vendors to chat and do business um, before the show floor, before the dealers come on board. Um, and then also in this lounge, which will be the hub for the Trailer Park Expo, um, we will also have the OEM showcase so new this year is that we're um, allowing OEMs to display new products um, specifically for manufacturers That's cool. in the Trailer Price Expo Lounge. And then our feature in the Trailer Price Expo mm -hmm. Lounge is um, the Trailer Price Outlet podcast booth. Right. <laughs> so yeah. why don't you ladies tell us a little bit about what's going on in that part of the booth? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's flipping so, the script on us. <laughs> I know. Unexpected. Um, so in that booth, we are super excited. It's going to be women in the trailer industry in full sin with Juan Hernandez and Keith. Um, mix it up a little there. But um, we're super excited. We're going to have a lot of guests. We already have tons scheduled. If you're watching this podcast, um, please go to the link below and schedule in because we want to feature you. We want to learn about what your experiences are, yes. what your struggles have been. Um, you don't have to be a woman to be on the women in the trailer industry one. We will make it relevant for the trailer industry. Um, and just really explore everybody there and um, really just make connections and yeah. get everybody talking. We're going to be live streaming the whole time. And so if you're just walking by and let's just say you haven't seen this, that's what's going to be cool about it is you can be like, hey, I want to be on your podcast. And we're just going to pop you right in and and um, <laughs> just learn what you're doing. Um, it's a good opportunity for you to advertise your company, what you do, get that the news out there about what you can offer and then also talk about the, the usual things that we do, the struggles and trying to figure out work life balances and all those things too. So we're really excited. I just well, noticed we're very shoes. excited to have you guys. We really are. Yes. I love it. We're, we're <laughs> super stoked. So Kiefer's been working on the booth layout, um, what it's mm -hmm. gonna look like and the build of it and all these things. And I'm like, man, we're gonna be I don't know. It's just like the uh, we're we're trying to decide. Is it going to be farmhouse look? Is it you know what is that? What is your look? You know. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So, We're having fun it. with it for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is going to be a dealer lounge, and what's going to be Correct. in the dealer lounge? Yeah, so the dealer lounge this year um, will be a place for dealers that they can kind of, um, you know, hang out community a little bit. Um, we will have, you know, some lounge space in there. But the new thing this year is we're going to have the dealer stage, which is sponsored by PJ Trailers this year. Um, and that is going to be grab and go education throughout the show. So um, in addition to our regular business education in the classrooms, we're actually going to be offering kind of 15, 20 minute grab and go education sessions throughout the show on that stage. Wow, that is awesome. really great. For that. Yeah, it's a One new year feature. We'll have to go like just as a spectator instead of working, you know, <laughs> so we can grab all the good things that it has to offer for sure. I don't even think There's last so year I walked people. around anywhere. Um, yeah. The podcast was a yeah. hit last year. You know, everybody had was saying that they saw us on TV, and I'm like, well, we aren't on TV, but <laughs> yeah. we've been around. So. But it sounds like just if you're uh, attending the show, y'all have so much going on at all parts of the the layout that, I mean, man, you can just, you're going to be getting good stuff everywhere you go, which is wonderful. I mean, Exactly. And even in the lobby this year, so we moved a new product showcase for the dealers as we'll actually be out in the lobby. Um, so just starting as, as soon as you pick up your badge, you're actually able to walk through the new product display, which will be exciting and different this year too. So much to look forward to. No, so <laughs> ideas. I'm like, I need Lacey's pin right now. Like, <laughs> going down all the ideas, but that's super exciting. And Definitely things to look forward to. I know a big part of the show is y'all do some awards. What awards do y'all have going mm -hmm. on this year? Um, so new. <laughs> <laughs> so many new. Um, we do. We, we're, we're really, really ramping up this year. I'm so excited about everything new that we're doing. Um, so we have our, our regular our new product awards. Um, so you get, you know, new product of the year. Um, we're bringing back the innovative new trailer and truck bed awards. So it's kind of like new product on the manufacturer side usually new product displays for vendors. Um, and then we're actually adding a new, um, a new product award for the OEM component for the Trailer Parts Expo um, OEM Showcase. So there'll be an award there as well. And then new this year for exhibitors, we're actually going to be doing exhibit awards. So like Ooh. best in show and best creative use of space. So nice. those exhibitors that are listening, up your game this year and you might be able to win an exhibiting award. Nice. I know <laughs> people appreciate that. You know, um, a lot of money and effort goes into trade shows and things yeah. like that. And, you know, um, other trade shows, you may feel like you just really don't get anything out of it right um especially if maybe it's not your audience or whatever you have going on but definitely being a part of something yeah. a part of competitiveness and that nature you know um let me make my booth look good enough yeah. to win this award kind of thing, um definitely brings yeah. it in For have sure. i mean last year we were walking the floor and we were so amazed by the creativity that's going to some yeah. of the booths now. We're like we have to, we have to introduce exhibit awards. These, I mean, the coffee shop, right? <laughs> Diamond Seas, <laughs> yeah, shop. yeah. It's always a good, a good. Uh, they have the best, some of the best setups right yeah. there. I'm like, I don't, mm -hmm. I can't compete. I, can't. <laughs> so, I have to say, Max killed it last year too with their, their plinko on the trailer. Oh yes, that was popular. <laughs> I was, I probably walked around to five booths, so yeah. I know the tractors <laughs> and yeah, it was a, booth, yeah, so. yeah, for sure. Well, why is there so many new things? You said you're ramping up this year. Is this a big mm -hmm. anniversary or something? <laughs> It is actually it's our 15th year. So it's the 15th year of NAT Day supporting the trailer industry. 15 years of shows. Um, so we are we are going to be doing some special features. Um, I know we are in the collection process right now. Anybody that has old pictures from any shows, any stories, any memories they want to share, um, we're going to be putting together a display at the show to kind of commemorate the past 15 years of the industry. That's awesome. That is neat. Yep. Yeah. I know when... You know, you walk into the show and then you just see all these familiar faces and you're mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't have the time to talk to everybody. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then some people like, if you just met them at the last show or maybe a few shows, you like awkwardly stare at them because <laughs> you're not sure if it's them, but you're pretty sure it is. So then it takes, you know, one of the happy hours to finally talk to each other again. And it's, like, it's Andrea and Karen that know 
literally everybody. So they're like walking around and saying, you know, everybody is waiting for their Andrea and Carrie and Ty. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you get a small time slot of Andrea and Karen. Time. Yeah. Karen usually comes by like right at the very end, like when we're loading into the trailer. She's like, oh, hey guys. Yeah. And then we just stop everything and talk to her. But it's always a good yeah. time and just awesome. It's great where brainstorms come from and really. Um, what led to a lot of this was a lot of those brainstorms and just casual talking and just, um, two teams kind of doing the same thing and, um, Mm -hmm. wanting to push the industry in a certain direction. It's the magic of the show, right? So you have a sold out exhibit hall, right? We do. We have a sold out exhibit hall, but we're still selling. Really? (laughs) Yeah. It befuddles me. We are, we're actually, um. We are growing and growing and growing, and I think that when you guys get to the show, you'll be very impressed with how creative we are getting on using the space and where you're going to see exhibits this year. Um, Outside of the exhibit hall, um, we are going to have even more um, because the show is just, it's on fire right now. We're just riding this wave, and the industry is doing so well, and we cannot wait to get to the show and show with everybody this year. Yep. It's going to be super fun. Get your rest the night before. Don't go out partying in Nashville. <laughs> that can happen the day after. Yes. You have Friday to recover now. So um, just make sure you get your rest, everybody watching. And it's so, so you have tempting. time to walk and time to talk and, yep. um, and can function because nothing's worse than not being at a trade show all day after being out on <laughs> Yes, for sure. Well, we thank you so much, Andrea, for coming on with us and sharing all the things that we, you know, everything that we talked about today. Um, we, we appreciate all the input from you, especially um, talking about the fun new things that we have to offer this year, you guys have to offer. We're just yeah. excited to be a part of it. Yep. I'm super looking forward to just everything we have going on. It's kind of overwhelming, I know. Um, I can only imagine how big it is for y'all, how overwhelming but exciting. You know, you're ready for the challenge, but just with the Women in the Trailer Industry Committee, yes, the live podcasting, um, I think you definitely grow outside of your comfort zone, and I think that's where we're all kind of living right now. So mm-hmm. um, it's, it's well, something to look you, forward ladies. to. Yep. Yeah, thank you guys so much, and thank you for being such you know, a pivotal part of us launching this committee this year. It's it just seemed right to launch it with you guys and um, take it, you know, to the next level. I can't wait to see what happens. And we can't wait either. Yep. Well, follow, like, subscribe everywhere you stream your podcast. Um, catch us all at NATDA. It is August 29th through the 31st. Um, and don't forget to watch Want It Full Send, and we'll see you guys in Nashville. All right. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. Awesome. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.